Hello and welcome. My name is Felix Denzinger and this is our presentation of our paper entitled Automatic Cut Route Scoring Using Deep Learning. Before we dive into the methods, I want to give a brief introduction of the medical question that motivates this work. Due to inflammation of the perivascular tissue and caused by perturbations in the blood flow, plaque deposits can aggregate within the vessel wall. These plaque deposits can rupture, which leads to um, adverse events like stroke or myocardial infection. Also, they um, can narrow the lumen, which in severe cases leads to a malperfusion of the heart muscle and therefore ischemia. So the point where this work tries to help with this problem is to automatically predict the patient management scores based on coronary CT angiography scans in order to ease the clinical workflow. The patient management score we set our sights on is the CUTRATS score, which stands for Coronary Artery Disease Reporting and Data System. Mostly it is defined as the most severe stenosis within the patient and coronary tree, artery tree. However, the final score is still given by a clinician, which also reflects, which also reflects a qualitative component, especially for the differentiation of cut rate zero and one, since small wall irregularities are already classified as minimal stenosis. It is divided into six grades, with zero standing for the patient has no coronary artery disease. 1 and 2 for the patient has a non-obstructive coronary artery disease and with scores 3 to 5 the patient has an, an obstructive coronary artery disease. The resulting clinical question relevant for the patient management are the rule out case differentiating between the patient has a coronary artery disease or not and the holdout case where the differentiation is between the patient needs further functional assessment or an invasive procedure or none of them. In our work, we leverage a data collection of coronary CT angiography and calcium scoring scans of 2,828 patients with stenosis grade labels on segment level where a coronary segment can be seen as an edge in the coronary artery tree. As the patient level, also the patient level Agatston and Cutrot scores are annotated. The task at hand is the direct assessment of patient level Cutrot score and we use a task specific data representation and um, network architecture to achieve this goal. The overall workflow of our approach starts with the coronary CT angiography scan. From these, the center lines of the coronary vasculature are extracted. Next, the subsegments of the coronary tree are labeled. And for all center lines, MPR volume stacks are created by stacking orthogonal planes interpolated for each center line point. For simplification reason, we are only looking at the further workflow of a, for a single vessel, but you should consider all vessels at the same time for all following steps. The vessel is cut into subsegment and then all subsegments are resized to the same size to be processable by our neural network. Then these um, to reduce the size of the input, we use a 2.5D convolutional conv neural network, which takes two orthogonal cross-sectional views of our MPR volume stack as an input. After extracting features for each subsegment, we are also com um, we are use a multi-layer perceptron to regress the stenosis degree of the each subsegment. The features these features are also combined using a global max pooling operation. This operation is very well motivated by the definition of the cutrate score, which mainly corresponds to the most severe lesion within the patient. Therefore, the cutrate score is regressed by this pool feature representation together with a calcification score as an additional auxiliary target. So summarizing, our approach leverages a data representation of the whole coronary tree as an input. 
It does use two auxiliary tasks in a multitask setup in order to condition the cut rod score prediction and the network learning in the right direction. Also a big advantage of this approach is the independence from a lumen segmentation which is time consuming, often requires manual correction and is a potential source of error. On the downside our approach as most deep learning based approaches is kind of a black box which should be tackled by the use of visualization techniques in future work. After presenting our approach I want to present, present the corresponding results. As the baseline of our approach we choose a direct prediction of the most severe segment within a patient with described architecture. This is the closest we can get to related work which mainly predicts the most severe lesion within a patient. Also we reach good performance for the prediction of significant stenosis on a segment level where well, significant stenosis is defined as a narrowing of above 50%. We, when we directly predict a cut rod score without any auxiliary targets, we do not quite reach the performance of this baseline. However, as soon as we use the segment-wise stenosis degree as an auxiliary target, we clearly outperform this baseline. Especially the rule-out case performance is enhanced even more when the global calcification grade is considered as well. Unfortunately, we were not able to apply related work algorithms on our data sets since we only have segment-wise labels and real labeling on a lesion level was out of the scope for this work. Also, the results are not directly comparable since they predict the most severe stenosis degree instead of the cut rod score, which is similar but not equal to each other, especially between cut rod 0 and 1. We still want to show the operating points on these tasks which were performed on their data sets which are at most 15 times smaller than the dataset we have worked with. Regarding the misclassifications, we see that especially the cut rod 0 and 1 case gets better predicted by our full approach. Another takeaway from this slide is that cut rod 5 is extremely hard to predict. Since it is, since it for once this is because this is for once because of the severe class imbalance for this case, but also since our approach relies on a prior centerline extraction, which cannot be performed if a vessel is fully occluded. So summarizing, we are presenting the first approach to predict the score with all six classes using a task specific data representation and neural architecture, leveraging two auxiliary tasks. We do achieve very good performance with significantly more test data than related approaches. Furthermore, we believe that our approach can be further approved by the use of test time augmentations and culprit segments can be not only can not only be detected by the stenosis grade scores, which are also an output of the network, but also by the use of visualization techniques due to the max pooling operation. With this, I want to thank you for watching this presentation and would be very happy to answer your questions during the live sessions.